All right, Asmongold. Let's go. This situation got so much worse. Now, apparently, this is this still is, going This is perfect. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. What's going on? I'm fucking amazed by this, but yeah. This is absolutely perfect. It is. Hey, what's up, guys? We're here. It seems to never end. <laughs> Zero <laughs> days without an incident. <laughs> Bro, I remember I saw that shit on the army base. It was like, yep, yeah, five days, and I came back and said zero. I was like, damn. Is starting to die down. Fort Bliss is a crazy place. Or their livers decides to stoke the flames and mm -hmm. once again cause more issues. This time, we're going to see three EN livers make some questions. Yo, what stuff. is this fucking gif this is crazy twitch allowed this gif statements when that's crazy to users criticizing them on twitter now we've seen a common tactic with niji sanji en in the past where they drop these sort of group tweets where they all send out a tweet at the same time with a similar message in the past we saw this class this must be another coincidence definitely another coincidence guys completely unplanned classic example where they all said we love Niji Sanji, our family, blah, 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 blah. Well, we've seen a new edition of that yesterday where a bunch of the livers tweeted out that they love artists and made related tweets based on that. Now, everything mm -hmm. was going good until it didn't. Where three of the livers <laughs> were decided... Yeah. ...to clap back at the haters in the replies. Now, the severity of these replies definitely vary. One is a oh, more boy. typical clap back. The next is starting to get a little defensive about recent criticism of their organization. Uh -huh. And the latter is an example of one of their livers discriminating against a group Serious of people business. based on the color of their skin. Thank God, now we have something fun. Sexual preference. Yeah, not good stuff. But we're going to start with this one from Wilson. So he makes this tweet saying, Also, never let anyone bully you into stopping drawing what you are passionate about. Fan art is the cutest stuff ever. Where a user replies saying, good thing no one gets bullied in Niji Sanji N, of course, making a reference to the recent Doki Bird yeah. situation, where Wilson would reply with this. Did you form that opinion from your favorite drama tuber? You doing this is harassment. Leave my community alone and spend time doing things you love instead of spreading trash. Oh, now yeah. Well, this is people like because I've made videos about this before. People love to get mad about this and like blame it on like drama YouTubers or whatever. But like there's plenty of people that don't have videos made about them all the time because they're not causing trouble all the time. It's actually pretty simple. How is it that people don't understand this? And also, it's just like, I don't know why people feel the need to make comments about this kind of stuff. Do you know what I do whenever people do this? Stop talking. I look at the tweet, and I block them, and then I look at everybody that liked the tweet, and then I block all of them, too. Damn, and then you do that a few times, and then it stops happening. <laughs> True! That's a lot of people to block them. Now, this is an outrageous What's the problem with that? No, 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 I don't block them. That's yeah, easy. It is a very bold call out. Yeah. The target I, mean, I mean, even like, even when I have some, like, you know, of course, I like to spread my opinion, whether people think it's a good opinion or not. It's like, whatever, right? Because I enjoy it. This is my job, but it's fun, right? And it's like, some people agree, some people don't. And then I read the comments that don't agree. And as long as it actually has something where I can go, hmm, maybe they're right, I keep it. And if it's something where I look at it and it's like, this person's dumb, I either make fun of it, I reply to it and make fun of it, I'll make a video making fun of it, or I'll just permaban them and then move on. Because sometimes people regurgitate like the same L. Like it's like, yo, okay, they don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, now this person is saying the same thing. They still don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, okay, now this person doesn't get it either. Okay, well, I'm tired of reading it, so ban. Oh, you said it too, ban. You said it too, ban. So if you're ever going to get me on some type of L, make sure you're first, or else you just get banned. Yeah. This drama tuber classification here. It's you. you. It's you. And the reality is that it should be me. Like, it really, everybody should be mad at me. Triple T should be. Because I've gone way harder on this than almost anybody else has, and I've been way more mean about it.
But since I'm not in like the VTuber community as much, well, nobody really talks about that. Is very wide. Normally, when it comes to nobody's mad at me. Well, at least they're not mad drama, at me about about you this. You think of me and maybe another handful of people as kind of the faces yeah. of that. Topic. I don't know if they're really even. Um, maybe on the Uki one because, like, I think we can all agree. At least when it came to the Niji Sanji artists that was saying that they were being harassed, like you weren't being harassed. People were criticizing you, and you were doing a bad business practice. Like you're a businesswoman or a businessman, right? So I think we were all in agreement of that, but it's the Uki one where it's like, okay, now we're talking about racial issues. And then I'm like, well, he's a bigot, not a racist. And it's like, there are multiple different definitions. Some people can pull definitions if they want to. No definition is gonna be the same. So, you know, as personally at this point in time, like whenever we're talking about the Uki situation, I just say, yeah, you know, I think he should be graduated. Whether you agree or not, that's okay. And it's like, if people still want to talk about what I said about like racism and like definitions, it's like, bro, we've already had that conversation and you guys are late to the party. So I just don't engage with it. And it's like, even if you want to bring it to my attention, it's like, we've already talked about it. It's old, it's old news. People it's just new to you. Larger channels covering it. But in this situation with Niji Sanji and their recent mm -hmm. drama, it's been picked up by a lot of channels outside of the usual suspects including Charlie people like Charlie it. covering true. the situation very true. or other people like uh, Pyrocynical or Mudahar. Ooh. This has gone very, very mainstream because- That's crazy that Pyrocynical talked about it. I thought Pyro only really talked about internet stuff. Yep. Yeah. Actions of Niji Sanji management- It's a mainstream L. You bring attention to dumb shit by covering it. That's what I do. I love that. And some of their EN livers are outrageous and people are calling that it's out a different form of entertainment on youtube so to label drama tubers in this context is a very big net to cast now going back to the statement we see the second part about this idea of a bully so this user is referring to a bully in niji sanji n and basically wilson is saying that you got that opinion from your favorite drama tuber mm -hmm. my brother in christ people got that idea from, from the, your own management from the org, yeah. it wasn't drama tubers yeah, or youtubers org. propagating this idea out of thin air they're they, basing that accusation they said of bully it. being yeah. or bullies because being in your they company said it based on the termination announcement from any color where they acknowledge a bully or bullies in the company they threw you under the bus there was an angry mob. They, not under the bus. They threw you in front, in front of, of it. <laughs> so the bus would hit you and not Yeah, them. yeah. They put you in front of that bitch. And they were also driving the bus. True. True. They pushed you in front of the bus. It's kind of like the worst and they were way to do it. Yes, that is true. That is exactly Yeah, right. and it was going in fast. Yeah, true. By naming you in this term. Yeah, that's the crazy. Like, the bus wasn't even moving. It wasn't really moving in that direction anyways. Announcement. And so they said This that. is the, the group that gave out this information about the bully. It's not just the people covering this whole situation. Mm -hmm. It is Niji Sanji themselves that made this idea public. Now, moving forward, we all know that this action by Niji Sanji has greatly affected Everybody. a lot of the livers. It's yeah. caused extensive damage. At this point in the last 30 days, Niji Sanji EN livers have lost hundreds of thousands of subscribers collectively. In mm -hmm. fact, the 20th was the first day where the entire group didn't lose subscribers. It was the first day. And then these well, live it, this isn't really going to hurt them in the long run, like in terms of subs, because if they make good content in people the future, people yeah. will just forget about this. Yeah, they will. The same they as will. they do with everything. Yeah. Like the you only just, you literally just got to make something good and people will get over it. Apology that the Internet cares about is better content. Exactly. But this is still pretty substantial. It's a track record. People have goldfish memories. Just they sure do. <laughs> The, the who who's 430 oh uh this was a combination of all of them drivers come out and like say a, this stuff yeah but what wilson said is nowhere near what yuki said Ooh. so yuki violet as you can see very popular Ian so Lowe. is it yuki because i've been calling him uki am i wrong I were from almost Nijisanji. a million I mean, followers they would go on to say some this is crazy though like the stock is still going down still 
still. That's wild. Very disparaging things about groups of people based on the color of their skin oh, thank God. and their sexual here preference. Here we go. Definitely not helping this whole situation. So here is the thread of responses. Yuki, once again, making a positive artist uh -huh. tweet where this user would reply saying, what do you think about straight white men? See what they're... <laughs> so, um... They, uh, what do you call it? This is what people do like this. They make comments like this to try to farm people liking them in order to deflect from a situation. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because remember, this whole thing was about Selene. This whole issue all started with Selene. And now that there's another issue, it's like, hey, the artists are being bullied. Let's let's focus on that. They were they were very quiet until this artist shit happened, and then all of them are talking about it to try and hey, don't worry about Selene, don't worry about Doki, don't worry about any of that. Of your opinion about straight. White but like whenever you go, whenever it goes left, right? Like so, so here it's like yeah, we're trying to say artists are great, and then it's like this person brings up what you're trying to deflect from, and then you acknowledge it. That lets people remember what happened. <laughs> and it makes it worse. Men, please and it makes it fucking worse. And love spreader. Uh -huh. So this comment Holy will shit. actually have a history as we'll yeah, see. It's yeah, not just what, out of thin air. This is, yeah, I was but, about to say. It's more of a troll reply. I don't know why you would reply to this in the first place. It's not a good idea. And it was certainly not a good idea to reply with this yuki saying mm -hmm. they're just as irresponsible and selfish as your response so they are essentially yeah. calling an entire group of people irresponsible and selfish obviously not a very smart thing to do in a position like this now a lot well it's obviously bad yeah you know, all i mean it's it's obviously a bad thing and it's crazy to me that this guy baited him into doing this and he just did it. It is insane. It's been a while since I responded to a grown man. Uh, yeah, this is this is probably a 12-year-old kid. Why these idiots respond? I don't know. I think it's pride. Um, it's got to be pride. There's no way you just... I don't know. It's like... It, it just has to be pride. Maybe a knee-jerk reaction, but it's like, bro, there was really no need to really talk about it. Like, this is why I almost never respond to anybody on Twitter. Because there's no reason to. You're not going to change their mind. Mm -mm. You're not going to do anything. Like, if you go and you read my Twitter, I will reply to some people every once in a while. But, like, there are so many hate threads about me. When was the last time that I said anything at all? Oh, there's somebody. This is on December. Yeah, I just don't do this shit. Reformed? That's because I went back. He's spoken on straight white men a lot. He views it as a positive to hate on whites. Well, there's plenty of racists out there. I mean, people, there's plenty of them. True. No manager as well. Like, guaranteed. Yeah. There's listen, no there's plenty of people that feel the same way about black people. It's just not as popular to say it, so they don't say it. <laughs> like, if... <laughs> It is true. It's absolutely fucking true. That's... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> hey, I mean, it is social justice, right? Social justice does exist. So, ah, let's keep going. I don't care. If, you were, if it was popular to say bad stuff about black people, you'd see tons of streamers saying bad stuff about you black would. people. You would. That's just how it is. Well, or I wouldn't say streamers, or but... White people. Just I wouldn't say streamers. I would say it would be more people would just do it on the open Internet. Right. It'll be more in text form. I, I doubt a streamer would do it. But you never know, because there are some streamers that legitimately go on stream and they just be like, yeah, man, fuck all white people, all white people bad. And it's like, bro, that's that's wild. Like, why would you say that shit? Because people are fucking racist. Like, I don't know. Why. Oh, yeah. And the people that say, like, black people can't be racist. Like, yeah, bro, black people can be racist. Anybody can be racist. It's, it's not based off just skin and, like, numbers and shit. This is such a shock. I mean, there's obviously an inherent unfairness that, like, it's, oh, it's, like, more socially acceptable to be racist towards 
white people than black people. This is it's obviously fucking stupid, right? But yeah, I mean, I don't. Is it more socially acceptable? I actually I, I'm not too sure about socially acceptable. But I would say that less people will get upset about it if you do do it. I, I don't find so, this to be particularly offensive. I guess that would be a yes. A yes. More complicit. I guess, so. I guess more complicit than more accepted. Y'all, you let me know, Buck. If really? You let me know. There's plenty of people that are racist. A lot of people on Twitter. He's South Korean. That's why he's racist. Oh, are, are they all racist? <laughs> but they're the one. <laughs> See, that's my point, right? You guys... Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> are, are they all racist? <laughs> But they're the one. See, that's my point, right? You guys see what I'm saying? <laughs> there are people out here that say these things. I've read them in my comments recently. It's like they want to do some type of gotcha. And it's like, bro, you're just exposing how dumb you are. No, You're not getting that, anybody. Attacking white people or straight people yeah, see, is safe. See? You can that chatter that is cooked. That chatter is on some type of drugs. Out. Okay. But at the same rate, you have Niji Sanji, defenders and alike, saying... Mm -mm -mm. He got a ton of blowback. He got 500 comments on this, and it got retweeted a thousand times. This guy's getting absolutely shit on for saying this. I guarantee you he's getting shit on for saying this. Not 100%, man. Not 100%. A lot of his... Like, because a lot of the fan base of of uki it's like they know he says stuff like this so yeah they are complicit whenever he says this it's like yeah w l l white people w everybody else you know uh well i mean shit actually you just go you know what yeah i'll go see it for myself fuck it i will go see it for myself um i will go find this where is this uki Letter. Oh wait, they got rid of the post, right? They got rid of the post. Damn, they got rid of the post. So I can't even go see it. Damn. Yeah, never mind then. I'm, 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 that I what Yuki replied with is in no way racist yeah. because you can't be racist to white people based on this definition of racism. Yeah, yeah it's good they got rid of it, honestly. People are trying really hard to be oppressed now, I don't think you have to go really that deep. You just need to ask a very simple question in this context. Should someone incorporate talk like this? To belittle and treat people differently based on the color of their skin or their sexual preference. So that's true too. Well, yeah. the reason why people do this is because they're fucking Damn, weird. Damn, they say that yes. Have just been what the fuck, chat? What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> is because they're <laughs> fucking weirdos that what have just fuck? been reinforced this behavior oh my God. for years and years and years what by consuming fuck, content bro? that's like this. What These are the, the same fuck? people that, like, you know, like, on Twitter, there's, like, these guys that have, like, I swear to God, every single Twitter account that is a picture of a statue is the most racist fucking account should have been that you could ever imagine. Like, if anything, the tweet should have never went up. Like you open that up, and it's going to be yeah. like every FBI crime statistic from the last 35 years. And then it's going to be like cross-referenced with like different things that happened in like Europe and like, you know, different like, you know, like uh, economic stratospheres. That's exactly fucking it. So, yeah, and now, like, here's the thing, right, is everybody says Twitter is more racist now. Well, yeah, it's more racist now, but it used to be racist against white people, and now it's just racist against everybody. And people just don't really like that type of equality. Because most people, they want to be able to be <laughs> hostile let me know. I don't and know rude about Twitter. and be racist. They just don't want people to do it to them. That's it. Facts are racist. Well, yeah, I think that it is racist. Like, for example, if you make as like if you say that, like, oh, wow. Well, like, how is it possible that if, for example, you make an argument that, OK, this group commits more crime? OK, sure. Well, men commit more crime. Should we should we treat them like they're criminals? No. So 
it's crazy. Like he says, he says facts can be racist, right? So this is a, like a crazy and perfect example. Um, I'm gonna try and find it right here, so no, so people don't think I'm making it up. Um, actually, I might abandon her already, but some idiot uh, it just randomly put like, oh, 60% of crime is sixty uh, percent of crime is from black people. And it's like, so what are the, what is the statistic that you're talking about? You're talking about in America, 60% of crime is performed by black people? Because if that's the case, a lot of black people kind of get fucked over, you know, to, to put it simply, they get fucked over by the police, whether it's profiling, whether it's a bait, whatever, whether it's setting them up. And it's like, we do have, at least in America, there is a, yeah, I don't have it any, I don't have, I deleted it already, but there is a, How can I say this without making people lose their fucking mind? Um, I guess I just got to keep it real, bro. There's a lot of institutions in America that were legitimately created to set black people up. And it's just true. And it's I, I didn't do it. You know, the CIA, when they when they put crack in the black neighborhoods, it's like. Bro, you're literally putting a drug into a neighborhood so people can't fall, so people can't prosper, can't prosper. There used to be a, a black, um, damn, what was it called? It was called, damn, what's that big place called? Damn, not Hollywood, but it was like, uh, black, um, I think it was Black Wall Street. Right here, this is, this is history. You type in Black Wall Street. Tulsa race massacre, right here. This is history. 1921, Tulsa, Oklahoma, known as the Black Wall Street, was one of the most prosperous African-American communities in the United States. But on May 31st of the year, Tulsa Tribune reported that a black man, Dick Rowland, attempted to rape a white woman, Sarah Page. Whites in the area refused to wait for the investigation process to play out, sparking a two, day, two days of unprecedented racial violence. 35 cir circle blocks went up in flames. 300 people died and 800 were injured. Defense of the white woman, uh, defense of white female virtue was the express motivation for the collective racial violence. This shit is real. This is history. And there's more accounts of stuff like that. Emmett Till, a black man who was framed for raping a white woman, was hung. Right here, I'll look him up for you. If I spell the name correctly. Emmett Till, I believe it's spelled like this. Emmett, E-M-E-T-T, -E -T, Till, right here. Emmett Till. A boy was abducted, tortured, and lynched in Mississippi in 1955 at age 14 after being accused of offending a white woman Carolyn Bryant and her, and her family's grocery store. The brutality of this murder and the acquittal of his killer drew attention to the long history of violent prosecution of African Americans in the United States, till posthumously became an icon of civil rights movement. And it turned out the white lady made it all up. She made it up. He didn't do it. There are a lot of stories like that in American history, but there's also a lot of stories like that in just history in general. And unless everybody gets the courage to actually learn it and accept it and not just say, oh, it was a long time ago. There's no racial issues nowadays. Oh, well, everybody would let it go if you stop bringing it up. No, that's not true. If anything, that means you lack compassion. And that's why a lot of people, not just white people, but a lot of people, that's why they say white people are terrible. That's why in my video uh, yesterday, I was like, yeah, a lot of white people back in the day were a piece of shit because there were a lot of piece of shit white people back in the day. That doesn't mean every single white person back in the day was a piece of shit. And you saying that is part of the issue. You guys don't want to accept the fact 
that history is not great. It's not. Oh, what about this? What about that? Oh, black people do bad things now. La, 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 la. I understand a lot of black people commit crimes. And I also understand that they're put in positions where it's either commit crime or die. Legitimately, it's either you commit crime or you die. Not everybody can get a way out. Not everybody can find a way out. Not everybody is born in a situation where everything is sweet. And I don't mean just in America, across the world. I see kids outside my neighborhood. We're all having a good time, enjoying the day. If you go outside, and then this is Thailand, so I'm gonna keep it in Thailand. If I go down the street, I can see kids literally just playing next to construction sites. And it's like, that's very dangerous for children to do. Why aren't they in a, in a safe area, in a safe neighborhood? Because they don't have the money for it. Because they don't. Because people aren't statistics. <sighs> exactly. People aren't statistics. I think a lot of people need to look in the mirror. You should treat people like people, don't we? But no, we don't. we don't treat like no. men like criminals. But there are instances where it happens, and I will be upset about those, and I'll be complaining about those just as much as I complain about the racist shit. I do it every time. Just because it's true doesn't mean it's not rude. Well, it's not about it being rude. It's that, you know, condensing a group of people down to a statistic and then applying that statistic to another person that might not necessarily share that group of people's behavior is bad. Of course it is bad. Does that make sense? It's it's literally saying it's it's to try and like simplify it the best I can, the best I can try and simplify this is using myself as an example. I grew up in neighborhoods where those same people aren't alive today. Yet here I am flourishing. Yet I had the same opportunities, uh, opportunities as they did. Or did I? I didn't have my father, right? They didn't have their father. They chose to be in the streets. I chose to play video games. I was watching YouTube. They were selling drugs. They were getting girls. I'm like, dang, you guys are getting girls. You guys are getting money. How many times have we heard that from any ex felon that did or any ex gang member? That's like, yeah, I did it because I saw other people getting money and getting girls. So I did what they did. It's It's a deeper conversation. It's a very it's a very deep conversation actually. It's a very deep conversation. But I'm only willing to put as much effort in as you guys are. If you guys are not willing to say, hey, maybe Kushan has a point, or hey, maybe Zach Rar has a point, or hey, maybe random person in the comment section has a point. Because some of you guys in the comment section do have legitimate points. Sometimes you guys be bringing up shit that I really don't have an answer for. You'll be like, oh, what about in Europe? Bro, I'm not in Europe, so I can't even speak on that situation, nor do I choose to speak on situations that I don't really know much about because I can't know everything, nor do I want to know everything. And I know human history is very complicated, but just how I don't want to think about issues in Europe, people don't want to think about black issues. But since I am a black man, of course I care about black issues, right? But at least I have enough compassion to be like, yeah, white people get treated like shit. And whenever some black people think they legitimately cannot be racist to other people, it's like, no. Yes, we can. Anybody has the ability to be a, a bigot or be a prejudice or be racist. But because the definitions are so crazy, right? This is why I had the podcast with Chaotic. It's like there's so many different definitions. We cannot stick to something that is concrete. And how the fuck can we? How can we when we're too busy being at each other's throats, wanting to be right, wanting to say to statistics, want to talk about numbers, want to talk about definitions? You want to talk about shit that has literally not that much to do with humanity. Humanity. Human nature. Versus what we're taught, how we're taught it, 
where we're taught it from, who taught it to us. Learning that the ability to learn in itself is human nature. And no matter where you get the facts from, they might be incorrect depending on who else you ask. Having the knowledge to know that is what separates humans and, and civilians. Civilians don't really give a shit about everything else. How can you? You're living your life, right? I don't expect you guys to want to learn, yet I sit here and I make myself a target by spreading whatever I'm spreading, whether people accept it or like it. And sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm incorrect. I'm not, I don't get everything right. And it's amazing how some people think I have to get everything right. It's like, why do you expect me to get everything right? Because I made a video. You guys have the same ability to make a video just like me. Of course, there's circumstances. Of course, some people are shy. Some people have social anxiety. Some people want to have the best equipment. Some people want the best lighting. Some people want, before they even make a video, they're like, I got to have the best shit because I wanted to be professional because I want people to automatically accept what I'm saying. Because if, of course, if you look more professional, like if I came in, I had a suit on and I had great lighting, it's like 100% more people would take what I say seriously because all they have is a first impression. Because that's literally how humans work. We usually go based off first impression. So should I, Kun Sean, take every video I do super seriously and break down every single little thing and explain humanity and blase blase? Should I? Maybe I should. Will I do that? Absolutely not. Because I don't need to baby you guys. A lot of you are adults. I did an IQ test in my Discord. A lot of you in my Discord have IQs above 100. 100 being the baseline of someone that has a good IQ. So I don't need to teach people that I know can think for themselves. But I have to sit here and say it to everybody because there's a chance a random person is going to stumble onto the video for the first time. Whether they just stumble onto this video or the Uki video that's very disliked, or they stumble on the beatbox video that's very liked. There is room to have deep conversations on life and humanity and philosophy and racial injustice. It's just a time and a place. And it turns out this might be the fucking time and this might be the place. And it's all about fucking VTubers. But that's all I got to say on the, on the topic and on the matter, because to be honest, I know a lot of you don't give a fuck. So I'm just going to sit here and just keep reacting. It's, it's fundamentally dehumanizing. You're saying that you are no longer a person with your own wants and needs. You are instead part of this greater statistic. And thus, I will make decisions on your virtue for you. It's hypocritical also. Well, I, that, who cares about that? Everybody's hypocritical. Yes, everybody is hypocritical. Not if you say no, you're retarded. And that's and, and it's funny and it's funny. And it's funny, right? Everybody keg W in the chat. It's funny, but at the same time, it hurts. It For me, at least it hurts. I don't know about Zach, right? Because Zach, I seen Zach try and educate his chat or just people in general. And then he get, he get like, no you, keg W. And then he gets ratio. Because that's how the internet works. There are a lot of idiots online where they'll just be like, oh, okay, like, dislike. Or, oh, I like what this guy said. It looked good to me. Beep, beep, beep. Right? But it's like... It's easy for me to sit here and just say people are stupid, right? 39 DAF, like, oh, 39 IQ, right? I really think what she was saying is dumb. Should I have said she's stupid and this and that and she's a dummy? Of course I shouldn't have. But it's like... Sometimes you need to legitimately, sometimes you need to tell people that they're idiots because they won't learn anything, especially the idiots that think they're smart.
Should I just keep calling people idiots and saying they're dumb? I don't want to. It's not nice. You know, I'd like to be nicer to people, but sometimes you got to put a foot in the ass, you know? It is what it is. I mean, shit. If you think it is okay in some circumstances mm -hmm. to do that, you're a problem. Tweets like this yeah. are a problem. It's all, yeah. And I don't know. Yeah, by the way, this is always bad. Any time that you group, if any time that you group people together based off of an immutable characteristic and then demonize them, it's bad. I would even say any time that you group people together and then even say something that's good about them, it's bad. Yeah, I, I think this is bad no matter what. I agree. Do you believe in system? I agree. And look, someone's going to say talking about system of oppression. System of oppression is fucking real. But somehow people can make an excuse for it because maybe it doesn't affect them. Let's see what Zach has to say about system of oppression. Systematic oppression, is that a fallacy? I think there's probably some truth to it, but also I think the best way to avoid being oppressed and avoid being put in crime, uh, you know, in like in prison is to not commit crime. Don't break the law. Don't commit crime. Comply with police officers. Don't resist arrest. And that will be your best chance. And you hear that? That is the sound of someone who's never had to face those type of issues. I sit here hearing that and I say, this guy doesn't know what it's like. It's easy to sit here and say that, but you guys got to remember, not all police officers are good. There is legitimately police officers that will kidnap a woman, sexually assault them, release them. And then the next day, if they see that same woman being harassed, say, hey, stop that. And then ask that same woman that he assaulted the week prior, are you okay? If you don't believe me, there's a video. <sighs> God, I'm gonna get you guys a video so y'all don't gotta do that much research. I'm gonna show you guys the video. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Channel 5. Let's see if I can find where she said this. This is about uh, the Philadelphia streets. This is this whole video in itself you should watch. So if you don't know, there's a big drug epidemic going on. And right down the street, there are people buying up houses to renovate them and creating yoga studios while there's legitimate people struggling from drug addiction on the streets. This guy literally getting robbed by this woman. Why are you going in his pocket though? She's trying to steal from him. This is real okay. life. He's okay. Nobody this knows, is real nobody life. Know but you. Nobody knows but you. This it's shit okay. is not pretty. First off, he's asking why you going in her pocket. She's having a million and one excuses. You know what I'm oh, it's because right here. This is um, they're usually pretty safe at night. Right. So, um, but yeah, anywhere around here I could find. Are there any particular challenges you guys feel like you face out here as women? Uh, yeah, Absolutely. definitely. We're definitely uh, targeted <laughs> over men um, as far as robberies, um, sexual right. assaults. I had, um, it was like two in the morning and this car kept driving by and there were two people in it and there were, and I was walking and, and there was no one around and the one got out and tried to pull me in and luckily a car that was passing got out and said, I got your plates if you don't let her go. Yeah. But I mean, there have been times where that hasn't happened, and you know what I mean? I, it is what it is. It, I would like to get clean. I've been getting high, I mean, since 11. 11 years old? Yeah. How um, did you first get introduced to drugs? Um, my mom. My mom. What drug did she first introduce you to? Uh, Clodipins when I was 11. Her mom. So pharmaceuticals is where it began for you. Yeah. Her um, mom. But she smoked crack. I never smoked crack. And then when I was 15, she got clean off crack and uh, 
So, so what would be your response to this, Asmund Gold, if you were to watch this? Like, she's, she was 11 years old and her mom introduced her to drugs. Fast forward 20 years later, here she is on the streets of Philadelphia. Oh, maybe she shouldn't have just done drugs, right? Maybe she should just follow the law. And it started when I was nine, and from nine to 11, um, she would, you know. People doing drugs back that. here. I didn't find that out till I was 15 that she was pimping me out to him. From nine to the age of 15, being pimped out by her own mother. That's fucking horrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, and then, and then, and then, like, she wanted the pity, like, Oh, well, Jess, how do you think I felt? Like, I would hear my daughter screaming in pain and my high would get fucked up. And DHS got involved, but they didn't do shit. Like, I went to the hospital and they examined me and they were like, she's got scar tissue damage down there. She's got, like, and DHS never followed up or nothing. And I had to... The, so she went to services, DHS, whoever the fuck they are, and they did nothing to help her. Remember, this is... The, the police aren't going to do any better. To stay there so but when she died it still hurt like that's still my mom when your mom passed away was that kind of a wake-up call for you where you feel like you wanted to get clean uh, yeah i did get clean i moved to Jer i moved to um jersey for a little bit and i have to i actually um got introduced with opiates and heroin because i was in pain management i was in a really bad car accident right. so i was in pain management on the pain medication oxy and then when the DEA started tightening up the rules, having doctors cut the medication. Um, this is literally the system. She's in a car accident. Let's prescribe her opioids. There's an opioid fucking, uh, there's an opioid epidemic. Now this person that's suffering, they need to find a way to get their drugs because if not, she's gonna suffer from her car accident. Where to go? The drug dealers. I got cut off it and I couldn't afford buying the pills you the can't street. afford it's it too expensive but physical symptoms it's hard to just stop and um the heroin this is, is real life cheaper. so that's how this I is real life heroin is cheaper should you say that into my 30s i was shocked it seemed that from coast to coast the vast majority of homeless addicts that i talked to began their spiral downward as a result of being prescribed opiates by a doctor after sustaining a serious personal injury gradually should they not have gotten personal injuries so they don't have to be addicted to, to drugs? Um, I'm Jessica. I've been. But yeah, this lady talked about how the police did. did, did Y'all could. Here's the the link's gonna be in the description. Here's the link if you guys wanna watch. This is a hard video to watch. I saw it. This is a hard video to fucking watch. So that's why whenever I be hearing people on the internet say this shit, it's like, bro, y'all don't know real fucking life. The law. Y'all don't, don't know real crime. life. Come don't on. commit crime. Listen to the police. Why with police officers? Don't resist arrest. And that will be your best chance. Real life doesn't always fucking work like that. That's why system of oppression is real. Because real fucking life does not always work like that. It does not. You don't always get a loving mother or father. Say, hey, let's put you in the school. Hey, let's take care of you. Hey, you can live with me until you're whenever. Right. Because Zach never had to move out. He lived with his mother. R.I.P. He lived with her all his life. This is still the same house. Not everybody gets that. When my cousin turned 18 years old, he got kicked the fuck out of his house. His, his, my aunt kicked him out. She was like, hey, you, you're 18. You got to go. And it's like, that's life. That's fucking life. You do that, you're going to be in a better prop. You're, you're going to be in a better spot than anything else. What? Yeah, true. Why anyone would put up with this. It's not necessary. It's toxic. And it alienates a large portion mm -hmm. of your audience. How do you do this? For absolutely no reason. You mm -hmm. didn't have to reply to this. Besides the fact it just looks horribly unprofessional as a professional yeah. Niji Sanji Ian Liver. But moving forward, that was kind of just my response, right? I didn't really want to go too deep in this. I thought it was really only worthy of a tweet going over this. Not much else to say. Well, it's like also like how many, like I think that there's a lot of like white people that watch uh, VTubers.
And, like, I'm sorry, but, like, if somebody says something negative about, like, men or, like, straight people or white people, because I'm a straight white man, that will make me more uncomfortable around them. Because I don't want to be around people that have some sort of, like, inherent distrust for me. Or some type of inherent prejudice towards you. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds very fucking familiar. I don't care if they think that I'm one of the good ones. Hmm. That sounds very fucking familiar. Where have I heard that from? That's hmm. just weird. I don't want to deal with that. What the hmm. fuck? Damn. Fuck. Where have I heard I'm one of the good ones before? Damn. Oh, I got a sweaty armpit. A little low. The shoe is on the other foot. The shoe is on the other fucking foot. It doesn't feel good to walk a mile in our shoes. It's not good. And that's why I try and say, hey, even though white people fucked up in the past, you know, we got to move forward, not move on, but move forward. That's the hard part, too. Moving forward is the hard part, because a lot of people, to move forward, you got to accept. You got to accept the past. Not change it, not justify it, not get angry at it. You accept it and learn from it. And you say, let's move forward. And not everybody is on the same page of that. How can they be? When one person will move forward if you apologize and the other one will move forward if you apologize to them about what you said. But what you said is true. They don't like the truth. They're not going to apologize. They don't accept the truth. They're not willing to apologize. Fuck them. But how can we move forward as a society? You can't. You'll stay stagnant. Or at worst, Go backwards because there's a couple black people that will definitely be like yeah fuck it let's let's have white people be slaves they made us slaves i personally don't agree with that but i legitimately know some black people that are cool with that they would say i love that hell yeah get those white people to fix my car for free yes does it sound cool does it sound fun is it funny some people think it's hilarious some people think it's fucked up what do you think let me know in the comments below until I saw this tweet from Kirsha. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a fucking supercut of every time he was weird about white people. Oh God, here we go. Let's hear it. Dang, fun supercut of every time Yuki Violetta was weird about white people. Now this is a five and a half minute long compilation. <laughs> Holy shit. Of Yuki saying I gotta watch this. things about white people. Oh God. You gotta be we gotta some kind of a weirdo to have a five plus minute long compilation of you attacking a group of people. To be fair, I think you could make a five plus minute compilation of attacking a group of people by recording anybody on Xbox Live for 10 minutes. But as somebody who does it for their job, it's not quite as common. Based on the color of their skin. Now I'm not gonna sit here and play the entire- And like someone pointed out, that was actually on in favor of Uki. These, this is a five minute segment from 200 hours plus worth of streams, right? 200 hours worth of streams and you got five minutes. Is that five minutes damning? Yes. But you're telling me if I recorded you for thousands of hours that there is no way I could go ahead and get a cut of you saying some fucked up shit about anybody. You're absolutely wrong. Everybody has skeletons in their closet, whether they like to admit it or not, whether they think the skeleton is huge or not. An issue that might be a non-issue for you might be literally somebody else's entire personality that you have an issue with. Right? I, I say I, I don't like talking to dumb people. I say it all the time. But there's some legitimate dumb people that aren't bad people. They're just dumb. And me blat blatant statement saying I don't like dumb people is not nice. But I believe everybody has the ability to at some, at, 
you know, some form to learn, right? To get at least a bit educated, right? So it's not like I hate dumb people, period. I hate dumb people that don't want to learn or they choose to be dumb because there are some people that legitimately choose to stay complicit in their idiocy. And I have no tolerance of that as a per like just personally, I don't have a tolerance five for Five and a half minute clip. But I'm going to give you a quick compilation yeah, the of other, some of his great There's six minutes? Yeah, the other subjects. five minutes would be them AFK. I mean, one does. I guess. I person from each team. Join me over White here. people. Now to hold on He's sweet. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Surprise. White man does the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. You know how when like white people kiss? <laughs> I don't. What do you fucking mean? What? Like in the movies and stuff, when white people kiss, it's like they look like they're in pain. You know what? White people's hot dog sucks in more way than one. You know what I think? I think that this guy probably says the same kind of stuff about black people and about other races of people whenever he's off stream. And see, I maybe he does. Maybe he does. But we can't really go into maybes. We got to really stick to what's going on right now, because saying that makes it a lot worse and creates more chaos but i think that's why zach said that to create more fucking chaos i think i think that's what he does and he My just wait because this guy i mean this is a hundred percent what it is it's like this is just this is the racism this is his maximum power level that he's allowed to show but i guarantee you if you get this guy off stream <laughs> This is honestly crazy for him to say. I'm not gonna lie. As I'm saying, yeah, this, this, is, this is the tip of the iceberg. Literally zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, basically, like if you don't look like he does, which I mean, I'm sorry to say, and it's like, what do you expect Asmund to say? Because Asmund's never seen a Uki stream in his life. Right? Asmund doesn't know Uki. We don't know Uki. We only know him from like his streaming. We don't know what he says offline. But we also don't know what Asmund says offline. Right? We have no idea. So why even bring it up? Why this bring is it up? a white guy. Just wonder. No, he's Asian. He's got white. I thought he was white too. And it's like, bro, this is just a model. No, he's Asian. Scan. He's Asian. He's not white. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Isn't it odd? And, and look, everybody in the chat, L L LOL, hypocrisy, hypocrite. Look, they don't know. That's what I'm trying to let everybody know. There are multiple stories. There are multiple things going on. And you won't know unless you really care. But how could you care? You got your own life to live. It's not a big deal. How, like, why don't they just get over it? Why are they still cooking on Uki? All he said was white people bad. What's so wrong with that? Right? Hey, there are multiple stories, multiple angles, multiple ways to approach it. There is no right way. And if you think there is, you're incorrect. You're very incorrect. Very, very incorrect to the point that you don't realize other people have different lives. And you think, oh, if we just follow the law, everything will be good when the law can be changed, depending on who wants to change it. This is a very deep. It's very deep. Honestly, it's very deep. It's very deep. Fucking. Oh, it's because the, yeah, the hosts are two okay. white people. Um, it kind of looks bad. Uh, it kind of looks like it would match you if you were a pasty white person. This is an interesting video. So I'm gonna click out of that. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go to the restroom.
Rhino back. Yeah, to be fair, that is what he said. That's taking into account that the law is actually being protected by the people who are supposed to be serving and protecting. You're just walking around. That one then... doesn't seem so bad. It could be in different context. Mm. This old white couple yeah. passes by you and they're like, hello, whatever. And I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> Can I help you? What up, Dragon? Why did we don't know each other? I would love to have a conversation with this guy off stream. I would probably learn about statistics that I had no idea about. Like, <laughs> bro, like, I would learn about like these things. Yes, it's like genetic differences between race. It's like, wait, what? Uh. <sighs> Look, man. Asmund Gold is not the end all be all when it comes to intelligence. I know he is very intelligent, but I've at least recently seen a lot of videos of how he is actually just a fucking goofball who doesn't really understand much about life, but knows a lot about the internet. So just remember that he is also human. He is also human. I didn't even know that. You didn't even know. Who knew? Why if only you asked. That? Why are you smiling at me? Is he Asian? I don't know. He is Asian. I mean, I'm sorry to say, but like... But they going off models. We're going off the like V2. like a white guy. Yeah, we're going off V2 models. Why are you talking Like, about? if we, like... <laughs> all we could do is go off V2 models, and those aren't even accurate. Y'all know Sun Kenji? The black man that has an avatar of a person that looks like a white guy? Right? So it's not like we could always go on VTube models. Some people don't show their true color on their VTube model. I mean, what business do you have yeah. with me? So that's only a small portion of his comments about white people. Right. If you want the full compilation, I'll put a link to the thread in the description. But regardless of your feelings, that's pretty good good can we agree on something that's very good basic? What he is saying is weird. It is weird to have such a focus on it is weird and i think that like you know for example there are people that tell like uh they tell like racist jokes and it's like you can tell whenever somebody's telling like a joke and whenever somebody's like genuinely racist i think this guy's like actually racist and I guarantee you, if you get this guy off stream, he probably has opinions about South Americans, about Mexicans, about black people, probably about different other types of people in Asia, th opinions about Russians, Africans, like fucking Egypt. Bro, this guy is... He put like, yeah, if you had him do a tier list, it would take him a long time because he'd have to think about so many different stereotypes. Like, Jesus. Oh, God. Russians are race? Well, I mean, it's not really a race, but, like, in general, Slavic people are viewed as, like, a group. Yeah, sure. And I, I ain't gonna lie, that sounded really racist of you to say that shit, but okay. I bet he probably has an opinion on that. How much do you want to bet that he has an opinion on that? group of people that your hatred yep. of them 100%. starts to leak out into your professional career to the point where there is a compilation mm -hmm. of you speaking negatively about that group of people right. it's a very weird thing now places like bro and, and it's possible to to make a compilation like in general how like bro there's so many videos that i've seen of asmongold calling people idiots i could legitimately make a compilation if i wanted to of him doing that 
but I have better things to do in my life than to do that. <laughs> Reacting to this video is better than fucking doing that. There's no point in doing that. That's a different conversation. Which, like, it's, I'm, what I'm trying to say when I bring this up too is like, everybody is acting like they're fucking perfect in this situation because it involves race. People want to have the moral high ground. Bro, there is no moral fucking high ground when we talk about race. When you want to pretend and say, yeah, everybody should be treated respectfully and equally. When in real life, nobody really does that. Somebody has some type of prejudice against somebody, whether you like to admit it or not. I do. I will say I do. Sometimes I say some fucked up jokes, right? For me, it's just jokes. For other people, it's not a joke. Some people, that's really, that's really offensive. And that's why I won't say any of the jokes out here but i'm sure if you want to go back and pull like my playstation 3 messages like sure maybe i said some fucked up stuff even about black people right i'm not fucking perfect twitter will applaud this because like i said being anti-white or anti-straight is something that is applauded on spaces like this but if you show it used to be um it's not anymore because uh the people that were complaining about it just you know there's none of them are banned anymore like it, you can say whatever you want on twitter now and so yeah it's way less and you saw that whenever the guy made his original post like he got ratioed like crazy it still is oh yeah yeah no but like there's like for example like there will be a viral tweet about white people being stupid but then like a day later there'll also be a viral tweet about like black people being stupid or mech you know what that sounds like? It sounds like a cycle of hatred. Mexicans being stupid or another group of people being stupid. It's like everybody's racist on Twitter, not just against white people. That's the difference. Compilations like this, to a normal person, they will think you're very mm -hmm. weird. They will think this will. treatment yeah. of other people based on the color of their True. skin is something to not be celebrated, regardless of who it's directed at or what group it's mm -hmm. directed at. And a lot of people have been raising other comparisons where they're comparing this a racist, yeah. situation to other things that have happened in the history of Niji Sanji, like a situation that involved now graduated VTuber Kyo. So only a few months ago, Kyo was under immense fire from people on social media for comments he made about Koreans, where he basically—I <laughs> told you, man. Well, you eating burger and fries? I told you, bro. These guys, like, they're if you what the fuck, dragon? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Freaky ass. Like people, he's is he Chinese? I don't know. Yeah, what's he? No, Kyo is white. Is is he Korean? Kyo is white. Kyo's yeah, white what was he? He's white. It's white guy. Yep, there it is. Topic of plastic surgery and affix that to Korean people. Uh huh. Now he was dragged. Okay, initially he was not going to. Well, let's see it. Apologize for anything. And what happened was Kyo, or it was in the stream, something about a joke about plastic surgery. And he said something like, "I'm not in Korea." I can't really remember exactly what happened, but a lot of people got offended by that. And his statement in response was, "Korea." is south korea is a place known for plastic surgery so why are you getting upset that's basically it and he said he wouldn't apologize and then of course he had to apologize because the corporation and really doubled down but yeah people got really mad I was there when it happened racist and demanded that niji sanji must do something now we saw eventually kyo would apologize for these comments and would take some time off to reflect on his actions basically no i want to see the tweet you remember when y'all said you gotta find that one good burger spot? I fucking found it. I want to see it. I fucking uh, found it. Goddamn. Yellow kill me. Okay, let me see if I find this real quick. Hell yeah, yellow. Kill I think me. that's what pisses people off. Shout out yellow kill me. Off is that he can say something like this that could be racist, but then the other guy says something that is also for sure racist. And then he doesn't have to do an apology. Because I'm he pretty did. much sure... That he did have to do an apology. He didn't want to do an apology. I was there. I saw the whole thing go down. That he did this because the company told him to do it. Uh, it's a double standard. It's old, isn't it?
November 2023. Oh, God. And this person looks like they're professionally on Twitter. This is going to be hard to do. All right. So this is this is what the uh, what the guy said. Let's listen to it ourselves. Decide if it's racist. I'm afraid you made a serious mistake in one of your streams by associating Korea as a country that only has surgeries. And that was a racist act. Could you apologize to your Korean fans? No, I'm not apologizing. And here's name why. of the place. What tell I you. said was not racist. I'm one of those type of people that will find the best place, and I won't tell you. At all. <laughs> all I said the was that I went to Korea to get the surgery. Korea, factually, is known as a plastic surgery hub in the world. Okay, it is. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, it's very known for their plastic surgery. Yeah, a lot of people get plastic surgery there. It's obvious. Yeah, for sure. It is. Among it's other true. Like whenever I go to get a hair transplant, where do people say to go? <laughs> go to fucking Turkey. They all say go to Turkey. Why is it everybody said it does it do you think it's because people hate Turkish people? No no. Things. Okay, some people might know Korea because of K pop. Some people might know Korea because of various other things. But globally, Korea is a plastic surgery hub in the world. Okay, it is. Uh -huh. So me making a joke that said that I went to Korea to get surgery is not racist. In fact, if anything, it's just playing on the fact that I'm going somewhere where plastic surgery is popular and very good. So if anything, it's a compliment to how good the Korean plastic surgery marketing is, okay? That's like if I said I went to- uh, You know what, now that I think about it, there is such thing as good racism. I, I always forgot about it. There is such thing as good racism. How many times have you heard, oh, you're Asian or you must be smart? That's fucking racist, even though it's a compliment, right? So I think we forget that racism isn't always just bad. There is there is good racism too. Turkey for a hair transplant. Turkey is the hub for hair transplants in the world. Smart dude, I like this guy. For cheap hair transplants, right? So yeah. that wouldn't be racist either. And I think the fact that you think it's racist and you're begging an apology out of me is your problem. Personally. He's totally I'm not fucking gonna apologize right. To you. I'm He's sorry. completely fucking I don't right. Care. He's 100% right. It's not right. racist at all. Absolutely not. I said not. nothing negative about Korea. Nothing negative about Korean people. Just because I said something that was factually associated with the country does not yeah. mean it's racist. Exactly. And that's why we said when this happened that it was a cultural issue. If South Koreans are really, truly upset about it, they have to look inward at their culture and change it. Because does it suck that people make this joke? Yes. Is it factually correct? Yes. But why? Why is it a thing? Because in South Korean society, if you're not beautiful, you will be made fun of so badly that you might take your life away. You are socially pressured to get these types of surgeries. Are, is someone literally forcing you to get the surgery? No. But you'll hear the whispers. Oh, my God. She looks like this. Oh, my God. She looks like that. Oh, my God. She's aging. Oh, my God. It's a cultural issue. And, and other people are going to make fun of it. And that's the thing. If you don't like other people making fun of your culture, what do you do? I'm not going to just say you should change your culture. Who am I to say that? But you got to do something if you don't like it. You can't just be like, oh, we can make fun of other cultures, but uh, other people can't make fun of us. That's not how it works. Based as fuck. He left Nietzsche Sanji. I told you he's a smart dude. There it is. Yeah, and apologize. Yeah, probably because they made him. They did make him. Yeah, he didn't say anything wrong. ...and called him a racist and demanded that Niji Sanji must do something. Now, we saw eventually Kyo would apologize for these comments and would take some they time off left last to week. reflect on his actions. What a geez. Style suspension. A subtle suspension. I, and it's something that we know yeah. that Niji Sanji has done with other livers, a stealth suspension where... It's called stereotyping? It's not stereotyping to say that in a certain country, in a certain culture, things happen this way. That's not stereotyping. He's not saying that all Koreans get plastic surgery. It's two totally different fucking things. They don't officially like, announce it, but it's clear Jesus. because of the break that that was likely what was going on. But people compare his comments to that of 
Yuki. Totally. And they're very confused. <laughs> Wait, the other guy that has like a five minute compilation of it? Oh my god. As to why Yuki has never been punished. <laughs> the five or minute really compilation. Of course. Criticized for any of these comments yeah, he's about right. white people. And the hypocrisy, of course, is glaring in this situation. But moving forward, a lot of people compare yeah. some of the comments made by Yuki to that of Victoria, who also clapped back at a now deleted post saying, explain to me how supporting fan artists makes me a corporate bootlicker without using random buzzwords you learned this week. Now this reply is- I think that they all did. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just say it, bro. Like he might not say it, I'm gonna say it. I think that their corporate had them make all these posts about artists to try to farm sympathy to gain credit back in the community. I think this thing's totally fucking fake. Of course. I think the personalities are fucking fake. I think everything you see out of the- I think some of them are faked and then some of them are legitimate. I think it's not all of them are faked because Niji Sanji, they're good at manipulating their talents. They're not good at manipulating us, the public. They're good at manipulating the talents and forcing them to do things. But sometimes they may force you to do something, but make it seem like it would behoove you to do it. It's deeper than it looks, I think. Them is fake. They're, they, don't even, they're, they don't even own what they are. They're not even sure. in control of their own IP. That's true. You really think you're gonna get anything authentic out of this? It's all a fucking scam. You think that they're all gonna randomly tweet this shit out at the same time? Okay. Get the fuck out of here. How stupid can you be? <laughs> what kind of stupid are you? And it's working too. It's got 20,000 likes. <laughs> the powers I beat. The Come powers on. I beat. It's all fucking fake. It's aggressive and Especially not the best this. idea given the current situation. Niji People are Sanji so stupid. In. But I don't think this is in any way comparable to what Yuki said. Such a fake this comment fucks. is directed towards a negative reply to her tweet. That has to do with the substance of what that person was saying. Yeah. Yuki's tweets and the compilation of their comments on stream has to do with the traits of a human being. The color of their skin. That's a lot more serious than something like this that normally people would just applaud as a funny clapback by a VTuber. Yeah. Especially one from Niji Sanji. But as you can tell, this situation has continued to get worse, and really the PR nightmare for Niji Sanji continues, and it's really been carried on at this point by the livers, because management hasn't done much openly, at least. The talent are the lot. The talent, they are the management. There is no real management. The talent are the management. So yeah, it would make sense that the talents are fucking up so much because they're not in charge by anybody besides themselves. Least over the past well, week or it's so. not their fault. At least that's what Garat says. Oh, they're getting mm -hmm. harassed constantly mm -hmm. and they're gonna you're gonna reach a breaking point where you say something because you're getting like a thousand comments a day accusing you of trying to make a girl commit suicide. Like, that's the truth. Like, obviously, that's what's going to happen. They are fake, but there are moments of realness, unfortunately. Allegedly. That's why I said Garat. Garat said that shit. I don't say it. Garat said that shit. Like, I don't know who the fuck Garat is. And whenever you see him, Allegedly. well, that's a good thing, because that means it's a new Allegedly. time for a video. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I, it's just, that's the reality, guys. Come on. What are we talking about? So, but the livers through their joint address made on Alira's channel and through these yeah. recent replies has stoked uh, the another fake uh, another fake thing that the company probably had them do collectively that they're all tweeting out this thing that she's going live how fucking like how can people be so fucking stupid remember how i said you can make a compilation of asmund gold calling people stupid <laughs> The compilation starts now. <laughs> to fall in line with this. It's just, it's astonishing to me. Like, how is it possible? so pathetic? To get farmed like pigs. And make the drama continue, but... Oh my god. The update on the Niji Sanji related situation, and as always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comments wow. below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Jesus, guys.
I, I don't even know what to say. Get Yeah, get them on a routine schedule. Yeah, it's just, it's so pathetic, bro. Like, it's just, and you know that the saddest thing about it is it's like, just go and make your bag and, and get your money. But like, I don't want to hear about how this is like anything more than that. Just be entertaining and that's it. And also like, what about the fans? Because the fans have to be responsible at some point. They do. How Actually, that's a good, that's a, that's a good point. The fan base needs to be responsible as well. I agree. I totally agree. But at what end are they responsible for? Are they responsible for the Selena situation? Are they responsible for supporting the, the livers now, even though the livers um, are constantly getting in trouble online? Like, at what part are they responsible in? And are they responsible as we speak? Whoever is streaming right now, I have no idea who's streaming for Niji Sanji. That person that's in that chat right now, are they also responsible at this very moment? I actually have no idea. I have no clue. How the fuck? But y'all figure it out. How the fuck do you play into this? How the fuck do you buy into this? How are you so fucking stupid that you can't see that you're obviously being farmed like a fucking pig? I don't get it. And like, I understand. Because that's the point of being farmed. Like, you don't know what's happening. Right? I know a lot of girls that farm guys like pigs. And they do it for money. And the guys say, oh, baby, please make me squeal. But the difference is that these guys don't know they're pigs. You know? Oh. They don't even know it. Well, damn. How does this happen? <sighs> I just, it just, it's so weird. Speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about his new girlfriend. I think that's a bit of a low blow. I think it's a bit of a low blow. Okay. That was a bit unnecessary. I just, I just, it's so weird speaking from experience, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying that's the way it is. <laughs> they don't know low IQ, but like how low, right? Like, Jesus, man. Well, I mean, you got to think about it. A lot of people have shorter attention spans. A lot of people have lower IQs. Uh, Generation Alpha has been online since they were born, right? They're legitimately a different breed of human, at least I personally believe, because I had a two year old literally speak to me in Thai and in English, and she's two years old, right? Uh, and I taught her tic tac toe, by the way. So now she's going to learn strategy, which is good. Um, the internet is literally deteriorating the mind. The public education system in the United States is terrible. Of course, a lot of people are going to be getting farmed and not know it. That is literally the point of Big Brother, to have people own nothing and be happy. So you got to make them dumb for that to happen. So the dumber people get, the more people will take advantage of it. And the people that are successfully taking advantage of it will be the richest people on Earth. So I think you need to stay a step back and look around and see who are the richest people on earth and what are they doing? They're buying up all the water. They got shelters. They can pretty much buy security for the biggest bidder, you know, the paramilitary corporations. A lot of PMCs guard oil, right? They guard a lot of other stuff. But we like to not think about that and pretend that doesn't exist. Why? I guess we're just all being complicit in our demise. But it is what it is, as the saying goes. Man. Engagement metrics. Yeah, they're farming engagement metrics to try to break the algorithm of negative uh, publicity. It's obvious, like, that they're all going to make these tweets about it. Like, I just... And I know that I'm, I'm, I'm probably, like, really mean about this, but I want everybody to know that I mean every fucking word of it. I completely mean it. I'm not, you know, like, oh, I'm not taking it in, like, oh, the most extreme way. I am not mean enough. If I, dude, if there was no rules, I would say this a thousand times fucking worse, right? Like, this is it. Like, I hate these people. They're so fucking pathetic. And it's like, it's not even need to, the need. I don't hate the need Sanji people because, like, what are you going to hate a farmer? What? Well, I mean, come on. You got to make money somehow. But it's the pigs, bro. The pigs.
to think that they're not. <laughs> what? He's losing it. He's losing it. Nah. Getting hateful? No, it's funny because it's like, yeah, the pigs get farmed, but so do we. We get farmed all the time. Sometimes the farmer gets farmed by the government. All right, I'm out. Bye-bye.